it, as a Christian, that if I get my finances straight and I become wealthy, my life's going to be different. I'm going to be happier. And, and when I first read, I think it was 2016, maybe maybe 2015, actually, uh, Tony Robbins said, money master the game. And I remember the one thing that stuck with me more than anything, because at the time, and even I still run into this as a man, many men think if I just make more money, my life would be better. I, I would just have 100%. less worries and all these things. And and also the, you catch yourself it, with it when you have something nice. You're like, oh, like if you if I had this nice car, I'd be so happy. And I'm like, dude, when things are bad, you try, you're just as mad in the nice car as it is the bad. Now there's like levels, right? People say that your happiness can go up with like 70, 80K. Well, let's call it 100K now with inflation. 100K a year, your happiness really changed from 20 to 100. But in Money Master the Game, the one thing that stood that I took away from it was that Tony talked about how almost every billionaire he waited on was totally unhappy. And that was like the one thing, that's the thing that hit me the most. And I was just sitting there like, because most people would say, God tests me in that. You know, people win the lottery and they hate it and they wish they never won it. I'm like, BS. Like, <laughs> like, come on, give me a shot, God. Like, I'll be the one who enjoys it. But there's also got to be this wisdom that comes from that the reason I asked about the Christian perspective is because you saw it on Wall Street, like stock trading. These guys are not living a very healthy lifestyle. There's also investors, and you've been around a ton of them. What's been like the negative downside or that, like, has it been that way where no matter how much more money someone makes, not saying they shouldn't, we're literally here telling people they should invest in their family's future, but is it going to create the happiness that they want? Or is it true that it, like, you truly have to have that happiness inside of Christ and then the investments will add to that. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but it's kind of it's kind of annoying because people are like, well, then why would I go and build this investment portfolio if it's not going to make me happy anyway? Yeah, I mean, I, I think happiness is completely separate from all that. I mean, I think being a Christian, there it, there's this comfort, this peace of mind, like I'm saved no matter what. Um, but I also want to make sure that I'm honoring, you know, I'm, I'm living a life that is honoring to God. Totally. Um, but, but in the backdrop, like I'm also not afraid to die. Yep. And so there's this peace that comes with that. Um, but on the, the happiness side, there are certainly a lot of ways to, to be happy. The problem, and, and by the way, we could even dissect like the word happiness versus the word joy, joy yeah. right? And, and, you know, any of these derivatives, um, and have the, you seen, are all investors, like, have you seen investors that are unhappy even though they're... Oh, most certainly. I mean, I know a ton of people that are, you know, if if I said, hey, what, like, what's your ideal amount of wealth, like where you would be happy? I could tell you, I mean, hundreds, if not thousands of those people that I know, and most of them are not happy. And I don't think your happiness, I mean, Tony Robbins also says that, uh, you know, money doesn't solve problems but it uh, does help you solve financial problems. Yeah, uh, I think he said someone out there, you know, many people yeah, and probably people said that, say right? like money's not the most important thing, but it's right up there with oxygen. Right. So there so, is that there is a value for sure. There is a for sure thing that you, we're all going to have problems with the goal is to have better quality problems. And if you have some money, um, you can handle some of the things that uh, might be more of nagging problems or more like legit severe problems. Um, but there's so many studies that say like once you go beyond, uh, I mean, I've, I've read them anywhere from like 75,000 or 100,000 or now I've seen some stuff at 150,000 that beyond that, yeah. the happiness, you know, doesn't really change. But happiness to me is not correlated to that. And and keep in mind that if someone's happiness is, it's probably going to ebb and flow with the market. It's going to ebb and flow with their investments. Um, and, and that's a dangerous place to be too. So the the danger that I see for um, entrepreneurs, alpha, uh, you know, men and women, people, you know, a achievement oriented is that they have the tendency, and I have done this in my life, have had the tendency of putting that on a pedestal over God, right? And, and so your success is an idol, money is an idol, uh, the things that you don't have is an idol, keeping up with whoever else, you know, in, in, in your peer group that's doing great things is an idol. And so anytime those things rank uh, above God and, and your pursuit of, I think it's going to be maybe like short-term happiness, but not long-term.